The Princess Cruise packages have definitely been popular with cruisers. However, recently Princess has been making some changes, leading some people to say that things are better, while other people say that these packages are worse. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know about the Princess drink packages, as well as Princess Plus and Princess Premier. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are going on a Princess Cruise, you may be looking at some of the different packages that are available, including Princess Plus and Princess Premier. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go through exactly what is included in those packages, including the recent changes and enhancements. And we'll also take a look at some of the different drink packages that are available, especially if you do not drink alcohol. Now, anytime there are changes, there are always going to be some pros and some cons, some things people like more, some things people like less, but I will share with you my own point of view on these packages. And because I do have an upcoming Princess Cruise, I will share with you which package that I have booked. Changes Princess has made. So not only has Princess made some changes to their different packages that are available, but there have been some price increases on their cruise ships. The reason that I mention this is because it is important for us to calculate that into the value of these packages. So for example, the tips or the crew incentive, that has increased. And of course, this has increased on other cruise lines as well, but it is something to be aware of. And the price of the specialty dining has increased as well, which is also something that we wanna take into account, especially when we do look at the value of the Princess Premier package. And as well, there have been some price increases to the drink packages, including the non-alcoholic packages. Now, don't worry, I will share the details as well as the prices of these packages so that you can make the best decision for you. So let's first go through the different drink packages and then we'll take a look at the Princess Plus and the Princess Premier Cruise Package. Now, if you don't drink alcohol and you want a classic soda package, that is something that is now available. The classic soda package is $14.99 plus gratuity per person per day. So that adds up to $17.69 US per person per day if you do want to have unlimited fountain soda. Now, if you wanna be able to have mocktails, fruit smoothies, and milkshakes, you do have the zero alcohol package, and that's $29.99 per person per day, or just a little over $35, including the gratuity. Now, if you've cruised on Princess before, you will notice the price increase. Just thing to mention is that you can still bring a bottle of wine per adult when you board on embarkation day. And there is a 12 pack water bottle package that is available if you do wanna order that to your cabin, that is about $7. Now, when it comes to the alcohol beverage package, it is available to purchase separately. However, we have to be honest, it is better to bundle that up in Princess Plus Cruise Package or the Princess Premier, because if you took only the alcohol package, it is approximately $65 per person per day. Now, by the way, even if you don't drink alcohol, I would urge you to take a look at least at the Princess Plus Cruise Package or even Princess Premier, just to see if there is value in that for you. So what is Princess Plus and what does it include? Well, Princess Plus came out a couple of years ago and it has definitely been very popular because it really does make the cruise feel much more all-inclusive. Now, a beverage package is included. Now, you do have a limit on alcoholic drinks of 15 drinks per person per day. Now, there really are a wide variety of drinks that are included. So, of course, you have your cocktails, you have your frozen drinks, you have your wine by the glass, as well as your beer. Then you have your non-alcoholic drinks as well. So, you do have your specialty coffee and your tea. You have your water bottles, your smoothies, your milkshakes, your fountain sodas. And they do have something new, which is unlimited healthy juice at a juice bar. Now, there really is a lot that is now included in Princess Plus. But the two, I'd say, really most important things that I think you're going to appreciate is the fact that you do have crew gratuities that are included, or they call it a crew incentive. And you also have Wi-Fi, you get one device per person. Now recently, Princess has announced some changes and some enhancements to Princess Plus, and there are now a few extras that are included. So you will have premium desserts. I believe this has just started on the different cruise ships. So I think time will tell how much people really love this. If you have had a chance to try the premium desserts already, please let me know down in the comments below what you think. And there are also some new fitness classes that Princess is offering through a partnership with a company called Exponential. And with Princess Plus, you do get access to two classes during your cruise. And the latest new enhancement is the unlimited juice bar. So this is not something that I think I've ever seen on any of the Princess cruise ships, but it does look like some of the juices that are going to be offered are really a fresh vegetable blend, a fresh juice blend, and as well, a combination of the both. 
And normally those drinks would be between six and $8 per drink. So it does seem like it's a good value. Now the cost of Princess Plus is $60 per person per day. However, if you do the math, when you look at what is included in terms of the Wi-Fi, the gratuities for the crew and the beverage package, even if you do not drink alcohol, this may be the best value for you when you book your cruise. So what's included in Princess Premier and is it for you? Well, Princess Premier includes everything that is included in Princess Plus. So you have your Wi-Fi. However, now you have up to four devices. You have your crew gratuities, and you have basically everything that is included in the beverage package, but now instead of being capped at $15 per drink, you now have a limit up to $20 a drink. Now you still have a maximum of 15 alcoholic drinks per day, but all of the non-alcoholic drinks are unlimited. Now Princess Premier is $80 per person per day. However, it does include some other extras that I think a lot of people are really going to like. So it does include specialty dining. You get two specialty restaurants per cruise and it includes a photo package of three prints and the unlimited digital copies. Now, whether you love your desserts or you love your fitness, both are now unlimited. So you have unlimited premium desserts and you have unlimited fitness classes. Now, when it comes to Princess Premier, you have a few other nice perks as well, including reserved seating for the production shows in the main theater. You also have some fun opportunities to participate in Princess Prizes, and you do get a medallion accessory as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have a Princess Cruise that is coming up in a few months. Now, the last time that I did a Princess Cruise, I did book Princess Plus. I absolutely thought it was amazing. I thought it was a great value. And we have gotten used to, as we are cruising, having a little bit more included in our cruise, and we are really enjoying it. So for the next cruise that we have coming up, I decided to give Princess Premier a try. If you have cruised with Princess Premier or Princess Plus, especially recently, please let me know your thoughts, how it was, what you enjoyed down in the comments below. Now it is possible that we will still see and hear of more changes from Princess. If we do, I'll definitely have an updated video with more information. Now I'd love to know what you think of the recent Princess Cruise changes and what do you think of Princess Plus and Princess Premier? Something that I've seen advertised by Princess recently is the phrase, it pays to plus. And I do think for many people that the value of either Princess Plus or Princess Premier is there, but of course everybody is different. So please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one. It is all about the new Sun Princess. If you are a Princess Cruise fan and you haven't seen that yet, I think that you will enjoy that video. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Life Well Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.